in that matter being dismissed unless the people have a valid explanation as to why the complaining witness could not appear or should not be required to appear. Bond will continue with no contact with the complaining witness. Anything further? Schedules that October 13th? 19th. 19. Thank you, Judge. Nothing further from the people. Nothing on behalf of Ms. Floyd. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome, Ms. Floyd. You're all set until October 19th at 1.30. Have a great day. Stay safe. Um, AM or uh, PM, please. Ma'am, I said 1.30. 1.30. Okay. Sorry, my apologies. Right. Because we're not coming to court in the middle of the night. That's, That's very true. Right. You nervous. You nervous. I know. I'm sorry. That's Let me okay. Get off y'all app. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enjoy right. your day. No, ma'am. I'm going to be asleep. All right. Damn. Have a great day, ma'am. You Stay guys safe. have a good one. <laughs> All right. You too. <laughs> A's? Really? Are you telling me all A's just because I'm asking, or are they really all A's? Yeah, just for right now. <laughs> just, for, just for right now? What, what's your name, young man? David. Is, David. David? And you wanted to meet me. Why'd you want to meet me? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. David? <laughs> I don't normally do this, David, but I don't come down. If you came all the way down here to see me, I don't come down and shake your hand. Thanks for So now you can tell everybody what's happening. Are you going to do that? That's a big smile. All right. You just keep doing good in school, okay? All right. You don't have to look like you're scared of me. I won't buy you less than that. Thank you, guys. Stay here. All right. Well, my day's made. I'm out of here. You guys do what you're going to do. Court calls the case of uh, the, let's see, Maria Finney versus Brooke Sabell. Yeah, that's a defendant's that time. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, who do I have here? Me? Maria Finney. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. And where are we on this, folks? I believe I'm here for the uh, SP <laughs> that was turned over to uh, the district court. And uh, my lawyer hasn't um, presented that to me. Yeah, because I believe Brooke wants some of that money. Mr. Friedman was your attorney. Yes. All right. And he, that's right. I think we had gotten to the end of this, and then there was escrow money, which he deposited. You believe that the escrow money is yours? All right. Go ahead. I don't think Brooke is allowed to have some of that money because I spent um, some money to pay the DTE. They project actually used my account through DTE and they ran up to $3,000 on my account. Hold on one moment. Can you give me a total of that thing, yes, girl? Fifty-six, twenty-three, seventeen thousand. Fifteen. Fifty-six, twenty-three. Seventeen. 17. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. There were some damages of the house that I had fixed and everything, and I still have damages of the house from the the pet, the dog that had uh, damages the walls and the doors and the garage. Okay. That's still not fixed. Yeah. The pet. All right. Let me let me ask you this so I know where we're starting from. Of the 562317, how much of that do you believe that should come to you? 
I believe all of it because I also stayed at a hotel on the, on the years that they stayed at my house. I was actually homeless, so I stayed at the hotel and paid um, all the uh, hotel fees when I live at the hotels while, while it stayed at my house. For at least two years, and I've been staying with my sister when I couldn't afford it. I've been okay, but friends. why would that be their issue? Well, I only let them stay there because they were evicted at their house. So I let them stay there till they can find a place to stay. But for some reason, with the COVID and everything, you know, everything got uh, okay. All right. To you guys. Um, how? Hang on one moment. How much of the fifty-six twenty-three seventeen do you think you guys should? Oh, okay. This is good. We've got room to negotiate. Maybe. Okay. Go ahead. Give me your reason. Um, I'm first going to address the particular thing she spoke of. Um, the, we have pictures before we left of every part of the house, including the area where any dogs were. There were no children and damages when we left. Um, and I can provide those if needed. Um, I know you brought up the hotel. I do see, I do understand that you're saying that you stayed in a hotel. We were not aware that you were at any hotel Upon any reasoning of us, we did tell you if you did not want to live in the home. You actually told me you didn't want to live in the home because my dad had passed, okay? That you were not comfortable being in the home and you were living with your boyfriend, the son. Um, as far as being evicted in our last home, you were not evicted. I'm not sure where you got that. Um, and I can to that. So, hold on. No, just me. So let me ask you this, folks. You're in the home now. Yes. All right. You guys are not in the home. And so really all we're disputing or all that's in dispute is what to do with this 56 Right? $25,000 for the insurance proceeds. And there's also damages at my house that I have the spreadsheet and everything on. And I know they're not going to pay for it anyways. They're not going to pay for the, all the damages that I had spent. So I'm not even asking for that. Um, because, so, uh, sorry, yeah. because of all the things that they've done to you, um, that doesn't matter anyway, because they, they've been evicted a lot of times from home to home, and plus they stole my, my husband's ashes, and they stole a lot of things at my house. Okay, you guys, rec recoup, hold, 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 hold on, recoup. I have pictures of all the damages, I have pictures okay. of all the damages. Hold for one moment. What's the relationship between the parties? Uh, this is my mother. Uh, right. Yes. My husband is not her biological father. He is my dad, and he is my whole life. And whether you like to say he hold, 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 hold. Stop, 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 both of you. All right, I'm done right now. You guys go have a seat. Um, the only way that either of you are going to come up here before this court, I don't know what water has flowed under that bridge. But nobody's going to be disrespectful to each other in any way whatsoever. I think what you just said is extremely or could be extremely hurtful. I understand your response, but your response was inappropriate. Man. You guys go have a seat. We'll deal with you later. A little longer than a few minutes later. You may be seated. Before I begin with the pallets cases, let me recall Finney versus Sedona.
All right, folks. Back on July 20th of 2021, there was a, the case was settled. The case was then reopened and the parties went to mediation and have come out. And as I look through this, I'm not sure what conclusions were reached following that. There was then the issue that there's a $25,000 judgment from whom to whom? Okay. Was that on this case? Yes. The contingency of the eviction. I see a gentleman in there because I don't. I don't see missile correct. Good judgment. There's no judgment. You, you uh, said we were going to enter a judgment for $25,000 because that was the statute. We, we had a, a money matters issue of $38,000, uh, but we're only asking for the five for that statute. And we're, yeah. Well, I have a note that indicates back on August 30th, I said it says 25000 judgment, then a question mark, meaning. I didn't enter a debt for 25. Uh, you said she didn't get the paperwork to be here. Pardon? Maria didn't receive paperwork. Correct. And I, I recall that because I wanted to make sure that happened, that, that the orders were properly in place. But it seems to me that the issues in this case are going to have to need to be litigated unless the parties can come to some type of resolution regarding the the money. Yes, and then I'll hear from you. Go ahead. Fifty two hundred dollars. That's a question for the rent that was paid to escrow. Yes. Um, she's asking for that payment just for the property and for a DTE bill. Um, we have record here that states that the DTE bill was in Maria's name and was at twenty one hundred dollars when we moved in, and then we Maria um, put her on as a. What's called authorized user on the account. So we were making, well, we made payment arrangements for Maria on her DTG bill, and we were paying $383 a month every month until um, October 31st. She had shut the electricity off on us because she wanted the house back. So she shut the electricity off on us and on October while we were getting ready for Halloween. It was October 31st, and the power went out. And so we had to. Get it turned back on and then get it put in our name as of December 3rd, 2020. And if you know, the balance doesn't carry over to her house for our account. Our account. When we moved out, transferred to our house. So therefore, we left her with no PC balance. But she had a balance of $2,100 as of uh, October of. When you moved out, there was no balance. Well, when we moved out, there was a $2,100 balance. That she Which was the original balance yes. when you moved she, in. Okay, I got gotcha. you. She called ET and said, can we use the card that's on file to pay it off? And that was our card that was on file. And it paid $2,500 of our card to her DT bill. So we had to stop that, have it re-transferred um, or have it re -burst. And we got a $35 fee for that because they took out twenty five hundred dollars out of an account we didn't have twenty five hundred dollars in okay. just to pay off her bill. Gotcha. And I, I hear you. Okay. I got it. 
Oh, and we have all the documents here from DTE, the start date, everything. And we've already entered into the order before in Exhibit B. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, so. Exhibit B. In the order that we submitted to the court. Uh, uh, Mr. Drew gives Mr. Drew. Mr. Drew. Well, okay, so folks, a couple of things. Because this case went to mediation, much of what you're you have, I don't have, because that would have gone to the mediation part of it, so that you're aware of that. All right, what did you want to tell me? On the um, DTE, I pay my bills every month by paper, never on a computer. So what the DTE said that they logged in into my accounts using password means Forgot password. That's how they got in and ran out my DTE account on my name. And well, but you're they were so, growing. They were growing marijuana. I've never run up three thousand dollar on DTE, and I've never missed a payment. Never. Okay. Right. And DTE can say that. Okay. And it's always paper. So the twenty. One hundred dollars or whatever that is, that was on the account when they moved in. When they moved in, I didn't owe anything. I shut down the. Uh, okay, then you guys are going to have to get me. You guys are going to have to get me those records because yeah. I don't have so them in front of me. Can, uh, pay their own duty. All right. I shut it off. But again, she shut it off while we're living there as tenants illegally. No, she because they off. said that they will pay their own DT because they will grow marijuana. That's how it went. I'm not gonna pay DTE and for them to grow marijuana and it goes up and it would be a lie. Right. No. Okay. I've never paid that much money on electricity. All right. So what I'm going to need to do is see all of the DT bills and account statements that you guys have access to or have in question. Yours are going to be partly leading up to some point and then whatever. Excuse me. I need the uh, receipt to uh, Friedman. And okay. And like I just said, I you guys went to mediation, so a lot of that the that information I don't have. So you guys are going to have to either get it from your previous attorneys or somehow or another get it from the companies to present to the court because I, I don't have that and I wouldn't normally have that information. That's another thing, Your Honor. They don't have uh, rental insurance. They don't have a rental insurance with all the damages that they did. I, I fixed it. I paid for it. And... That five thousand is not enough to cover anything, and plus for them to steal my husband's uh, ashes, it, it goes to show that whatever they stole, even they didn't return it to me. Uh, there's list of list of things that they took from me, expensive stuff, and um, it's all on the list. All I have receipts and everything, and my lawyer has all that. Okay, then you're gonna have to get that from Mr. Friedman. Whatever you I turned have, over. I have all the spreadsheet on me. All the, uh, okay, but they're going to have to be turned over to the court. They're going to need copies of it. I don't, again, folks, the best I can explain to you is, is that when the case goes to mediation, the documents are not turned over to the court. You may have given them to your attorney for use during the course of mediation, but I don't have them. Can I give you? No, because you can, you can file them up front but then you would have to make sure that a copy is given to the other side. Same for you. So in terms of the documentation that you want the court to review, how long will it take you to get your documents to the court with a copy to the opposing side? How long will it, how long will it take you to do that now? I, I have it all, I just. Okay, you gotta file it, make sure they get a copy. Um, 
Seth is on a Tuesday for final settling conference, whichever is the least uh, busy one. Yes. Tuesday won't be good for me. I already committed myself to uh, another appointment. Well, you don't know what to, you, you don't know what Tuesday I'm picking. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah, you're the first. Right. Eighth. Fifteenth. Okay, it would have to be the fifteenth at nine a.m. All right. No. All right. Yes, ma'am. Fifteenth is um, the fifteenth will be on separate. I've already committed to all other appointments. Um, well, what's my next day? October twenty second at nine a.m. Twenty second at nine a.m. Yes. Will that work? And do you need all the records for the mediation or for the belongings as well? I'll need to see everything you want the court to consider. Thank you. October 22nd, 2024, 9 a.m. in person. Make sure you have all of your documents. Okay. Thank you.